Houston Forensic Science Center was founded in April of 2014. It was created as an independent crime lab, which took over the Houston Police Department's crime laboratory, crime scene unit, and parts of the identification division. Mayor Anise Parker and city council members agreed this would be the best option considering the challenges and backlogs of the previous HPD crime lab. It was crucial to maintain the highest quality, credibility, functionality, and ethics of the laboratory. The new operation is overseen by a board of directors appointed by Mayor Parker and confirmed by city council. It is an independent, independently run organization focused on forensic science and in essence is a science-based organization and not a law enforcement based organization. We have approximately 160 scientists, technicians, and support personnel that conduct various scientific tests in our laboratories. It operates in eight separate disciplines. Those include firearms, controlled substances, forensic biology, latent prints, digital forensics, crime scene, forensics audio, video, and toxicology. Director Irma Rios explains. So we receive evidence from various law enforcement agencies, primarily the Houston Police Department. Our task is to use scientific methods for observation and analysis of evidence. What happens after that is we write reports regarding our findings and introduce them into a court of law, or they may plead out or investigators use them for investigative leads as well. It all begins at a crime scene where HFSC's crime scene unit collects evidence that will eventually find its way to the hands of scientists for testing. Crime scene personnel work on the front line of criminal investigations and play a critical role that includes identifying, documenting, and collecting everything from weapons, fingerprints, biological, and trace evidence. They also document the scene with photographs, videos, and sketches of the area. The idea with the documentation is that it'll be needed for court presentation letter and to help the jury to sort of understand what occurred or may be used uh, in a crime scene reconstruction effort. And of course the collection is done so that our labs can analyze the evidence afterwards. Many of the officers have had additional training in forensic sub-disciplines such as blood stain analysis, photography, and excavations. Police officers often decide what evidence should then be tested and analyzed in the lab or the center's forensics operations. A firearm would end up with the examiners in the firearms section who provide high quality analysis of such evidence. Ready to fire? Firing! Kim Downs shot a firearm into a water tank to test bullets and cartridge cases. By examining both of these microscopically, it helps provide marks which can possibly match a firearm used in a crime scene. In addition, we will place that fired evidence into a database called NIBIN to see if there's any links to other offenses. We are the only lab in the state of Texas that has trainers available to train other NIBIN examiners. In the controlled substances section, staff members analyze evidence to see if there is any presence of illicit drugs, prescriptions, and chemicals. This section alone receives close to 16,000 cases annually. Uh, we weigh them and then provide results to the district attorney's office as well as investigators. Analysts who conduct this kind of testing can also provide expert testimony in court proceedings. Forensic biology plays an extremely important role in the lab. In this area, forensic experts identify body fluids such as semen and blood. They carefully analyze the DNA, which is then compared to a national combined DNA index system. The results could help match an unidentified profile to an identified person and link crimes to a suspect or it could prove the innocence of the accused. A latent print examiner will process evidence. That is one task. In addition, they will process the latent prints, examine them, observe them, categorize them, and enter them into databases if they're sufficient. Latent prints is another important aspect of the Houston Forensic Science Center. Here, most experts hold a latent print certification.
Analysts use the latest technology available to them in an attempt to develop, capture, and compare prints recovered from a scene. The system allows the prints to be compared to a local, state, and national database. In the Forensics Audio and Video section, experts use special audio computers to process analog and digital recordings. Audio evidence is usually examined to increase speech intelligibility, accentuate noise, and improve quality. Analysts use this tool to identify security systems, mobile, and other electronic devices. The audio video section is very busy because there is a lot of video cameras or video in the public and that evidence is analyzed as well. They can enhance it or save it onto other media. Uh, we also have the digital forensics lab which involves the examination of computers as well as cell phones and that is expanding by about 40%. The toxicology division is very similar to that of controlled substances. Toxicologists also blend analytical, clinical chemistry, and pharmacology to assist with criminal investigations. By using state-of-the-art equipment, it allows the experts to examine everything from common street drugs, prescription drugs, food or biological samples, thereby discovering drugs, alcohol, or even toxins. As the Houston Forensic Science Lab expands, new hires will go directly through the center. In 2015, at least another 50 employees will be hired.